All right, guys, how's it going? It's the 18th of October, 2019. Here's your unofficial blender news. I do apologise for the video being late. I'm absolutely snowed under with work as it is at the moment, so you know how it goes. So let's take a quick look at the Blender developing meeting notes. Now obviously these guys are getting prepared for BlenderCon, or BCon, which is in the next couple of days in Amsterdam. So you've got new design for particle nodes, working on the input lag for windows, uh, grease pencil smooth strokes, i seen a demo of that the other day, looks pretty good. 2.81 is BCon 3 and they're moving on to 2.82 which is BCon 1. So keep an eye on the developments in that regard. Other topics, we still need to hire more developers. So if you're a developer or if you're exceptional with Blender, throw your name in the hat. You never know what might come out of it. New features and changes, back on the file browser, back on sculpting, a couple of viewport enhancements and Python API. So check out the Blender developing meeting notes every week. Next bit of news is pretty big. Adidas joins Blender Development Fund. Now this is kind of stamping your name on a corporate product. Uh, so it's a big move from Adidas. And as far as I knew, they kind of have this modal pipeline set up. So good news for Blender in that regard. Next one up is Suzanne Awards. I believe submissions have now closed but voting I would imagine is now open. And just kind of wrapping up the news, Blender Artist now has user portfolios. So that's pretty good news if you use Blender Artist. Yeah, it's an alternative to ArtStation I suppose. Let's jump on the tutorials. Blender 2.8 Beginner Tutorial. Now I had a quick look and this is from CG Boost. Remember all links in the description down below. This is like 15 hours worth of basic training. So if you're new to Blender, I honestly cannot recommend this tutorial enough. Check it out, subscribe to the guy's channel as well. Next one up is CG Geek. How to rig any character for animation in Blender 2.8. So rigging's pretty damn important, especially if you're doing character animation. Check it out from CG Geek. And then you've got lazy tutorials. Make cities with Blender. I don't need to give this an introduction, but it kind of moves along nicely to how to make city destruction in Blender 2.8. <laughs> and this is from Top Channel 101. So make a city and then destroy it. And kind of moving on from terrestrial, create a realistic fast moon Blender tutorial. Now I've got a funny feeling this is going to use the latest NASA data. And for the last week all I've seen is moon renders. And the next one up is create a height map in Blender 2.8. Now to be honest I've been a bit lazy and I'm stealing half my news from Blender Nation. Respect to the admin team there, do amazing work. Now I'm just going to kind of throw one into the mixer here. Node editor tutorial. And this is a really good tutorial, especially if you're into your Python and you're into your coding. And I can't recommend enough, you should always learn to code when you use a 3D application. Now let's move on to add-ons. Add-on template. It's $2 and it's on the Blender market. Now if $2 is too expensive, I did make a tutorial showing you how to do this for free, so check it out as well. Small plug. And moving on, and this seems to have made a kind of resurgent molecular script for 2.8. And this might be down to CG Master, uh, but it's a really nice script. Also while I'm here, Bendy Bone Handles. Now, who doesn't need a Bendy Bone? Check that out, it's on GitHub. And just a few things that I've seen lately. And this is this kind of retopology tool. It looks pretty damn cool to be fair. So check that out as well. And then you've got Mesh Generator for Blender 2.8, and this is from Curtis Holt. And I've personally bought this, and I'm hoping to do a review in the next couple of weeks or so. So, $10, pretty good script. Check out the video, highly recommend. And this is a kind of bittersweet point. HDR Pro Studio for Blender 2.8, free plugin and source code. Now, I believe this was a commercial product, but the developers ran into a little bit of trouble, and he's pretty much released the source code. It works perfect, there's just a few couple of bugs. Check out the forum post and have a little read. So just to kind of wrap things up, animation of the week, animation of the week. You've got upcoming TV series, we use plenty of Blender. Uh, this is from Team Dronix, but my main animation of the week, good chance you've seen it, me, a monster. Beautiful animation, a nice mix of different styles. Check that one out as well. And just to finish up, artist of the week, Marvin Funky. Oh, I do hope I say that right, mate. And these are just beautiful renders, nice environments. Generally looks like a displacement map with a little bit of procedural on it. 
And that's been the unofficial Blender News for the 18th of October, 2019. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Peace.